as always, a random video of the day. Haven't been too inspired to play it lately, but uh, if you've never heard of the Pulse uh, pedal from Donner Prince, that rotary speaker, uh, again, emulate it, or trying to emulate the uh, whole Gilmore tone. And uh, like I, I don't play anybody's music and stuff necessarily, you know. But I do like parts of tone that I hear and learn from songs, and I like to try to incorporate that stuff. And I love watching videos of uh, how people construct tones they do. So we're gonna make one of those videos today, uh, based around the pulse and add some delay and reverbs to it, and you know, save a preset. Uh, but before I get to that, I would, you know, put a pause on the whole self-indulgent guitar shit. You know, I tend to forget where I come from. That's military background. I served my country for almost ten years, and you know, I, I put, pushed a lot of that behind me, in military career and, and deployments and stuff. And uh. Uh, from each one of my videos from here on out, I'm going to pay homage to somebody who had never had a chance to uh, make a home. I'm going to find somebody online and I'm going to go one by one. And, you know, I don't want anybody to be forgotten, so that's my little part. So let's get to it. Today we remember Private First Class Miguel A. Villalon, 21, of Julia, Illinois. Died January 11, 2020, after his vehicle struck an improvised explosive device in Kandahar Province, Afghanistan. Also killed in the incident was Staff Sergeant Ian McLaughlin. Both soldiers were assigned to 307th Brigade Engineering Battalion, 3rd Brigade Combat Team, 82nd Airborne Division out of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. His awards and decorations include the Purple Heart, the Bronze Star Medal, the Army Achievement Medal with Sea Device, and the Combat Action Badge. Violon is survived by his mother, who lives in Chicago, and his father, who lives in Brownsville, Texas. Rest in peace, Airborne. Oh, man, it is hot in this garage today. Seriously hot. It's making me pissed off already. <laughs> Anyways, all right, got the Eagle Cam pedalboard cam kicking today, and uh, today I felt like making a video about creating a tone. Um, pretty cool little tone, I guess. Uh, it'll be more or less uh, centered around the pulse pedal. Um, the pulse is one of those. Hmm, how should I say this? A modulation pedal for people who like chorus but hate chorus, like flanger but hate flanger, like phaser but hate phaser. <laughs> And the tremolo I like too. It just has that perfect combination of all those, and uh, you can use the mix ratios and distance and all that kind of stuff on there to get what you like. Like I've had chorus and flanders and all that kind of stuff and phasers, and they just never lived on my pedal board very long. As good as pedals they were, the jam pedal Ripley Falls was awesome, but I'm just like, eh, let's need something else, you know. So the pulse is, oh, I just like the damn thing. It's awesome. It's one of those keepers. Okay, so let's start off. With bone dry, and uh, we'll add on each effect um, to more, a Gilmore kind of tone. I don't play Gilmore. I don't play anybody's music, so don't expect no Gilmore licks. I can barely even play the damn guitar half time as it is. Anyways, let's go bone dry. This is uh, my warm moth strat, and we'll see how many times I can hit my damn headstock on this computer desk right here. Hopefully not too many times, but... This is going to be really hard for me to play, is dry. So that's the clean tone of V40 in the left channel, V30 in the right channel. Those are both very, very clean. Um, what I, where I always start off with creating tone, and like I said, the moral of this of this video is, you know, I love watching people like create a tone in a patch or something, whether it's multi effects units or just uh, analog, more or less analog stuff like this as on a pedal board. And uh, the end result is like, oh man, that sounds so awesome. And it's cool how they got to that point. Now you're not necessarily going to be blown away by what I'm producing today, but we'll go with it. So where do I always start with? I start with uh, reverb. And my go-to reverb is a plate. I like plate on this Boss RV500. I got it set pretty low today. I do realize on most of my videos, even though while I'm sitting here in this chair recording, that reverb is nothing special. But damn, when I record it, it sounds like it's, everything's cranked to 10. Uh, but it's not. So this one's set pretty low, and I'll shut the hell up. <laughs> Nice, you know, give some space. And like I said, reverb is one of those things like, man, it really is just, I'll create a reverb preset before I do anything. I'll just play clean. And I'm like, oh, that reverb is awesome. And then I'll just start building the tone off of that. And that's sort of where I started out this morning. I didn't really haven't felt like playing guitar much in the last week, but so a little something to start with. So let's go ahead and throw on the compressor. Uh, this is a Strymon Compadre. It's set very low, and that's studio, so we'll do without it. <laughs> And with it, more or 
more or less a volume boost and a very light amount of compression. <laughs> So that's the Strymon Compadre compressor set, the studio setting. Um, I have the Jesse Davis Duelist. So. <laughs> and when I use the compressor, the compressor will be after the Duelist. So we'll do our, cover our drives first. Okay, so there's drive and compression, and the pulse will be last in that signal chain going to the front of the amps. Um, my reverb and delay is, is in the effects loop, so. So it'll go Duelist, then Strymon Compadre, and then the pulse. So let's cover the pulse. Here's clean with just reverb, just a refreshing memory. Let's put the pulse on. How the fuck are you ain't gonna like that? <laughs> it adds air to your sound. I've heard people say that, and that was like my first impression. I was like, it just sounds like my guitar so gonna win through a fan. And it got like shot out <laughs> into the field and hit another fan or something and just carried with the wind. I don't know how to fucking explain it. And guitar players are stupid explaining stuff, so that's my best analogy for it. It just goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. So. And then let me turn that compressor on, which will be before that. Just like I said, more of a bump in volume, really. That is sweet, right? Now this pulse is a stereo in stereo out, but not mine. Mine was the first one of the first 306 made, which had only a mono in and then stereo out. Which the way I use it is fine because um, it's in the Boss ES8, um, so no harm, no foul for me. But let's throw our Jesse Davis Duelist on there. Now I do have delay sitting over here, but I'm covering it. Gonna be last. <laughs> Pretty sweet, is it not? That is cool. And delay is going to be last because I've, I've learned that for me it's easier to set a reverb first and then like the dirt levels and, and whatever kind of modulation. And then maybe the delay most of the times last because I tend to get crazy on effects. So let me cut this off for a second so we can actually hear what the delay sounds like with just the reverb. Turn my volume up, help. A little galloping kind of a drum echo. That's why I love the strumming. Uh, Volante thing's awesome. So let's go back to that. All of it on. Let me turn the delay off just for one second. So all the other effects are on. So. Just listen to how it carries that sound. And the final glue to, you know, my little happy place today creating this tone is that delay on.
total random video of the day, right? I got excited and wanted to make a video. I like making this stuff. Probably not the best video today, but you know what? I got a free couple minutes. I'm going to capitalize on it. And if anybody wants to watch it, give me a thumbs up, man. I don't care. You can give me a thumbs down, dude. I don't get my, my feelings hurt. Trust me, I got some pretty thick skin. <sighs> well, there we go. Pulse, man. You got to love the freaking pulse pedal. Tone of the day. Everybody have a great day. Peace.